Novice Hurdlers this time, the Neptune Investments Novices Hurdle, the Bear in Bingham if you're an old timer like me. Uh, <laughs> it was called the Bear in Bingham, wasn't it, for a long time? Or is it called the Bear in Bingham now? Oh, I don't know, it's late. Anyway, two mile five furlong, grade one, uh, the top battle on, and bigger leader both for David Hooley, Cleric of the Helm and Dream Surfer both for Leon Van Rensburg. Hot Springs Surf for Vinnie Gerard, Spanish Archer Jan Daniel French, state your objection, try and keep your hat on. For Joshua Sutherland, under orders Martin Liam, crucial Elsie James Shea, market leader David Robertson, and Tectal Rain for Darren Thompson. They're away and racing. Two well, so of these have been dallying about in the National Hunt flat race now and again this season, so goodness knows why they're two mile five furlong hurdlers. What are they doing running in two mile National Hunt flat races? I'm feeling one or two of them may have nipped off into a couple of hunter chases as well, but anyway, right over on the far side. Last week's winner, under orders, is the leader. As they get over the first of the 11. And Spanish Archer down this near side second. Cleric of the Helm has come through as well. So to state your objection, then Spanish Archer. Try and keep your hat on after that one. It's under orders. And we'll settle down in the lead into flight two, leading by a good four lengths. Good jump by Cleric of the Helm in second. Then Spanish Archer is third. Try and keep your hat on fourth. Then Dream Surfer is after that. Under orders still in front. Right, this is race eight of the festival. Seven gone so far as they get to the third. Pretty obvious that, isn't it? As they get over the third. Three winners so far for Darren Thompson. Two for David Robertson. And what a piece for David Healy and Graham Clutterbuck. So Josh and Leon who normally clean up at this meeting haven't had one yet. They're scratching their heads and grinding their teeth, no doubt. As competitive as they are, they're all looking for Winners in these big races. Really, Gerard likewise will be wondering where his winners are coming from at the moment. And it's under orders in the lead for a trainer who's been wondering where his winners are going to be coming from all season as they get to the fifth. And over that one they go, all safely over it, past the stand, past the winning post. And out for another circuit, please, chaps. Under orders in front, leading by four or five to Cleric of the Helm in second, Spanish Archer. And try and keep your hat on. Oh, share in third. Then comes a market leader. And the grey hot springs surf. After that one is battle on. And then dream surfer. With crucial Elsie Tectal Rain. State your objection. And finally be a leader. Well, at the moment he's been exactly the opposite of that. And he's been a back marker. And it's under orders in the lead. By six lengths. The cleric of the helm in second. As they get over the sixth. Ooh, quite well strung out. The pace must be pretty hot. As I said earlier, if some of these have been running over two miles on national flat races, they should have a bit of speed. There should be some speed in the pack, so the leader is probably a sitting duck at this point. And they enter the final mile now, and under orders, he's in the lead. Spanish Archer second now, and Cleric of the Helm is third. Try and keep your hat on fourth and market leader fifth. In battle on a hot spring surf. The leader's had his lead cut down to a length now. As we switch angles and we'll watch the final six furlongs, presumably from this side of the track, as Spanish Archer comes to take it up. So Spanish Archer then's gone into the lead over flight eight. Under orders on the inside is second. Then comes try and keep your hat on. Cleric of the helm after that one. Market leader is next. So starting to run on now is Dream Surfer, Battle On, trying to get into it as well. And I've got three more to take. And Spanish Archer is just in the lead. Under orders is battling on well 
on the inside. Try and keep your hat on. Clearing of the helm. Next market leader has got no room. Dream Surfer is next. Here comes Tetal Rain for Darren Thompson as they take the third last. And Under has got over that one in the lead from Spanish Archer in second. Try and keep your hat on. Tetal Rain moving now in the third on the outside, but they're racing down towards the final two. And it's Spanish Archer and Under Orders from Tetal Rain and Dream Surfer. Cleric of the Helm is next over to second last. And there's a fall of there's a crashing form for try and keep your hat on. But it's Spanish Archer who's gone clear. Spanish Archer racing down towards the final flight with a lead of two lengths from Cleric of the Helm and Dream Surfer. Tetzel Rain is next. On the wide outside is bigger leader. Under Orders is beaten. The Grey trying to run on his hot spring surf. This is the final flight. It's Spanish Archer in front from Tetzel Rain. Over the final flight they go. Tetzel Rain was nearly down. And it's Spanish Archer who's in front. Spanish Archer is in the lead. Here comes bigger leader and hot spring surf. But it's Spanish Archer that takes it. Spanish Archer wins it close for second. Probably just hot spring surf. And we lost back long at the last as well. And Daniel French getting himself on the board. He may have been hoping he'd have done that earlier in the champion. No, it'll be I'll take that. Spanish Archer taking the bear in Bingham for Daniel French. Hot Spring Surf was second for Vinnie Gerard. Bigger leader, David Hooley, was third. Tectal Rain, Darren Thompson, fourth. And Cleric of the Helm, Leon van Rensburg, was fifth. So eight races in, it's Darren Thompson, three. David Robertson, two. And then Graham Clutterbuck, David Hooley, and Daniel French, all on one.